Hello, uh, Midman here, and look at that, it's Zesty. Hello, Zesty. Hello, and welcome to Midgard Chronicler, where we watch wow. videos. <laughs> we watch videos. What, what are we watching today, Zesty? Do you know? So today, we're watching uh, The Valley of Love. I don't know what we're watching. <laughs> As you might know, or you might not know, God of War 1 had secret scenes when you unlock it through, well, you unlock them through uh, specific goals that you accomplish, right? And those scenes are very interesting because they reveal some significant stuff about Kratos that we didn't hear about at all in the main game. And the, the very th interesting thing about those scenes to me personally is that they all have been retconned by future games. So today, uh, I got our resident uh, Greek uh, games expert in the house here to look at them again and to discuss whether these secret scenes that are now not canon would potentially have been better than what we ended up getting in uh, fo the following games. I actually haven't watched a whole lot of these in a hot minute, mm -hmm. or I actually haven't watched some of them, I'm pretty sure. Like, you're gonna pull up some that I haven't seen, and it's gotta be interesting, so let's see it. Okay, let's watch the first one. Kratos had accomplished more than he'd ever dreamed possible. But he did not sit easily on his new throne. There was a secret in his past even he did not know. A secret he burned to uncover. Born out of wedlock, Kratos was the bastard child of a shunned woman. There were rumors as to who the father was. Rumors that grew more and more preposterous. Until the woman finally left her small village. She swore a new life in Sparta. Kratos would never know the truth. Never know who his father really was. But now, as a man, Kratos returned to Sparta, determined to find his mother and discover the truth. Kratos' mother was not long for this world. Before she passed, Kratos demanded she tell him the truth. His mother knew the price she would pay if she revealed the name of Kratos' father. But it was time, at last, for her son to know who he was. No word need be spoken to bring about the prophecy of the curse. She was transformed into a merciless beast, one which would destroy even her own son. Putting aside the last remnants of affection for his mother, Kratos destroyed the beast she had become. With her last breath, she spoke the name of his father. For Kratos was no mere mortal. He was the son of a god. He was the son of Zeus, the father of Olympus. And with that knowledge came the certainty that one day soon, he would take his revenge against the father, against the god who had abandoned him all those years ago. Okay, so, so this is insane. Yeah. Uh, this one, I would say, is the closest, the one that looks the most like what we ended up getting in Ghost of Sparta, obviously, for the most part. Except... I mean, except? Here, here they... Str K Callisto, even though that's not her name in this, straight up says to Kratos that it's Zeus, but I would argue that that was retconned in God of War 2, uh... And Athena tells him. And in Ghost of Sparta, it's like, a, did she tell him? Did she not tell him? Here, it's like straight up Zeus. It's Zeus. And uh, it's the setup for the rest of the trilogy right here in this one scene. It's actually insane. You know, good thing they retconned this one. Because, like, him knowing that Zeus is his father at the end of God of War 2 is miles better than this. Like, this, yeah, as you said, this simply washed away all sense of, you know... Like, Mystery. there's a trilogy, yeah. It's like, Ghost mm -hmm. of Sparta, for, for the longest, I always thought in Ghost of Sparta that, that, you know, Callisto actually tells Kratos it's Zeus. But she never was able to tell him that it's Zeus. And I believe what yeah, we got it, is better than this, like... Nah, yeah. this is no, We also... No. 
we also got the Atlantis angle. You know, you gotta reach her, and he gets a vision of her, uh, and needs to find her before. And here he just pulls up to to his house, like, "Hey, who's my father?" <laughs> I mean, it's 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 interesting how much actually remained, like her turning into a monster. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I, I would uh, argue that Ghost of Sparta kind of handles it better. The area they're in is kind of peaceful. So this is Sparta. It's still Sparta, yeah, like think, how it is yeah, in Ghost of Sparta. Be, yeah. but, I mean, wait, 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 hold on. Whoa, pause. He doesn't actually <laughs> in Ghost of Sparta. He doesn't meet her in Sparta. He no, meets he doesn't. Her in the Temple of Poseidon. We also got the Atlantis angle. Here it's in Sparta, so in their at yeah. their old house. Yeah, where they grew up. I'm assuming. Yeah. I just want to know: Is this like post Ares, Kratos? This is post Ares Kratos, right? He is the god of war at this point. Because, like, here he is again on the throne, and she's talking about how he's going to have revenge on Zeus uh, already on the throne uh, on Olympus. Because, like, right here, look, it's, it's his throne, right? Isn't it? Yes. Yeah, he is plotting something already from here. Yeah. Yeah, so Gaius narrated says he achieved what he thought impossible, but. It, there is something he didn't know. So I think the implication is that this takes place after uh, he becomes the god of war. So it lines up with Ghost of Sparta. Look at how he pulls up. Yeah, he's just like... <laughs> just How long has it been since he's seen his mother? I guess a while. Open yeah, the just, door! Yo. Very, very easily. Ghost of Sparta did this better. Yeah. More intrigue with the visions of uh, his mother having t the fact that Zeus hid her in Atlantis and didn't just leave her uh, at home just chilling the fact that she doesn't tell Kratos so he's kind of lingering for a while until Athena tells him yeah this is uh, I would argue uh, it got done Ghost miles of better in Ghost yeah. of Sparta yeah. a lot of mystery and, we got and a, a lot of stuff and we got a boss, boss fight against uh, Callisto as well yeah so that's nice yeah uh, this next one I would that's where I think it, the, it's going to be more debatable whether it's better or not. I think I think uh, it's going to be interesting to see this this next one. When men ask for the origin of Kratos, the true tale was never known. The truth is that Kratos, like all men, began life as a child. But childhood in ancient Sparta was a brutal existence. Children deemed fit and strong were trained to be warriors, the protectors of Sparta. The weaker children were caged, sent to the mountains to fend for themselves. They were not expected to survive. And while Kratos escaped the fate of the weaker children, his brother was not so lucky. The two, once inseparable, were now alone. Kratos would become legend, but the story of his brother has gone untold. A child left in the mountains, he had died years before. Coming of age in the underworld, he had but one desire. Revenge against the brother who deserted him all those years ago. Bro! I know. I think this I is my first time seeing this. Really? Like, you'll see when there you, you go. edit that I was laughing when I saw Kratos, because again, he's bald as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> it was always canon. It was always cancer up in that head. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Hold on, so his bro dies. Like, it's confirmed, yeah. he dies. Yeah. Then he becomes, I don't know, someone's champion. A demon in the thing. Underworld. Yeah, he's a, a demon, demon. Like, yeah. Comes back to haunt Kratos. Okay. Oh, I know. Cool. I and now I yeah. see why you said this is gonna strike a lot of uh, conversation. Because look at this. Look at this figure. dude. Look at this man. <laughs> this. Oh my yeah. god. This I guy know. as a as like a rival type. Mm -hmm. You know. Like two brothers fighting in action games is always something insane. Like, look at this guy. This is like me when, me, <laughs> me when it's it's like it's like when me it's like when. It's, uh... 
<laughs> no, no, but for real, this guy, like, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. What do you think would have happened if this was the case? The outcome. Okay. The I'm going to drop a bit of a bombshell on you. This is not confirmed, but I've had a little bit. I've done a bit of digging. I need to confirm this, but I have evidence, some evidence to believe that originally Demos was supposed to appear in God of War 3 in Hades. So most likely this version. There are hints towards that. And then for some reason, they probably thought that it's better to have a separate game with him. So they made Ghost of Sparta. But my assumption, God of War assumption, is that this is kind of Zeus's last leverage against Kratos in God of War 3. So like he's killing gods, like he's on a rampage, but Zeus has this last kind of weapon, his own brother who wants to kill him. I think that would have been pretty insane, honestly. And if they re retained this kind of look for him, dude. Yeah. You can feel the cum rising in me as you went on. <laughs> I know, I know. No, no, it that's insane. It could have been very different. Mm -hmm. Look, it, I mean, the interpretation we got is still kind of like this. Look, yeah. where do we exactly meet Demos in God of War Ghost of Sparta? In uh, the Domain of Death. Isn't the Domain of Death a place where everyone is dead or something? Yeah, it, yeah, it's purgatory. I don't know if anyone uses it because like there, it's like there's no one there and the gods are scared to use it. So I think it's like the primordial ha hell, Hades sort of thing. And then Hades came along, he made the underworld and Thanatos is just chilling by himself with his daughter. And then the daughter died and then he died so now no one's there it's kind of useless now but yeah that's the point but like back to what you said it's quite interesting yeah oh my god like imagine this guy being used like you know you fight him and you don't recognize him at all and you keep on trying to bring him back but instead of what happened in ghost of sparta where he actually does become an ally he stays an enemy mm -hmm. and you have to forcefully kill he does he have fuck are these wings these yes, are wings. Are. Yeah. Look at that. Dude. He's a demon guy. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you didn't know this. That's like, cool. Look, this would have been insane. Yeah. Why didn't they yeah. go with this? Yeah, this is better than Ghost of Sparta. Ghost of Sp Damn. When I say it's better than Ghost of Sparta, I don't mean Ghost of Sparta is bad. Ghost of Sparta is, one of, is my, like, what, second or third favorite story? But this is better, you know, as a premise thing, you know. Maybe you fight this guy not knowing it's Demos. Mm -hmm. Then you slowly get to know. Or, it, like, it, this could have been used anyway, and it would have been so good. Like, yeah. maybe you fight him a couple of times, or one time, and you kill him accidentally. Then you get to know his Demos. Or Zeus uses him the way you said. And then you yeah. have to fight him, otherwise he kills you. But yeah, the moment you mentioned God of War 3, I instantly thought of the fear section where... Uh, you hear demos, but it, it was I never yeah. thought you would go the lengths you just went with your theorizing Yeah, and then uh, Zeus goes you should have you should have uh, picked the other one. So uh, <laughs> the hints were there, you know Yeah, 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 this would have been uh, this would have been better than Ghost of Sparta This would have added mm -hmm. the arcadey feel a lot more to God of War as in hey this rival you have you're gonna fight him One time two time. I don't know how many times or your yeah. type of way where Zeus uses him. It would have been such a tragic moment, honestly. This was a so good yeah. one. So yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it's interesting. The one thing I want to add, the I think it's more interesting that Deimos was taken away by the gods in Ghost of Sparta, by Ares and Athena, and not just like thrown to the uh, wolves to die in the mountains, like in the scene. But it's still kind of bullshit that Demos is angry at Kratos because it's not Kratos' fault at all. Because he's trying to protect him, but that's like besides the point. But I mean, there's also a whole other thing in here. There, mm -hmm. it, throughout this whole clip, there is no mention of the marked warrior. They took his brother because he's no. marked, destined to destroy Olympus, uh, this, that, the third. So why didn't this yeah. happen? Like, do you have any info about this? Why didn't this no, exactly happen? I honestly don't know. Uh, I think Corey. I mean, Corey wrote Ghost of Sparta, so he took like this scene and the last scene and kind of structured the story around it. I think they, he wanted to link it to gods uh, the whole time, like the gods are responsible for everything in Kratos' life. 
like every misery he has suffered is because of the gods, so it contributes to his anger, you know, in uh, God of War 3 or the Real. other God of War 2. Yeah, Very. and they just dropped this. Jaffe just like dropped this in the game, like as a secret scene. Like, yeah, he has a brother and he wants to kill him. Out of and, nowhere. You know, they, like, prepare yeah. for the next game if we make it. Yeah, exactly. They didn't even know, but they planted the seeds. Like, the Kratos yeah. versus Zeus thing acting was there like all they, along. Acting like they didn't just build the most perfect game of all time. Yeah, this was interesting. This next one is... I think you're familiar with that one, but it's also very interesting to talk about. The tale of Pandora's box remains to this day. After the weapon was taken from the temple, the structure endured. Kronos the Titan lived another thousand years, wandering the desert. That was long ago. The temple has gone silent, and the beast who bore it for so long has died. Relics of a world long past. But all myths need not be from the ancient times. Today, a band of explorers will make their way inside the just-discovered structure and find for themselves. The temple still holds many dangers and many secrets. Soon, as with all great myths, a new hero will emerge. What is this, Tomb Raider? Yeah. <laughs> so they visited, the military sees this thing and they visited, they paid a visit. Yeah. Why do I not remember any of these for that whatever reason? Very, that is fun. I didn't know that you are not familiar with these. This is interesting. I haven't seen this. I've seen the picture of Kronos like this laying down. Yeah. So he stayed in the desert for 1000 years. Technology yeah. evolved. Mm hmm. And who basically orchestrated this whole thing? This attack on know. Titan, you could say. <laughs> Attack on Titan, we don't know. That's it. That's just an idea Jaffe had. But this is my question. Would you rather have this game, a modern day shooter, really, that's, I think, Jaffe's plan, that was Jaffe's plan, in, in Pandora's Temple, in the God of War universe, but obviously you sacrifice Kronos' boss fight in God of War 3, because the fact that Kronos is in Tartarus in God of War 3 makes this impossible. Would you rather have this than what we got with Kronos? Would I rather a Doom game inside of Pandora's Temple with God of War 1 enemies? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> That'd be interesting. And it can still yeah. happen. Why not? Like, he just yeah. died in Tartarus. They can pay him a I visit mean, now. And, you know, you learn how he died. There's a hole in his skull, by the way. That That's from the Blade of Olympus. Mm. Oh, wow, I didn't even, <laughs> you brought that David, around. <laughs> David is genius. He did, they didn't even invent the Blade of Olympus yet, but there's already a hole in his skull. Wow, yeah, the, the, I mean, kind of, I mean, it looks like the desert, but it looks like Tartar is a little bit as well. I mean, yeah, see, we can make it sure? work. Let's make it happen. Yeah, we can make it happen. Yeah, imagine like having to shoot satyrs and stuff inside, inside of the Pandora's <laughs> Temple. Basically a Doom game, yeah. Just a first-person yeah. shooter, that could work. And this still looks like the there's a panel uh, in the desert. I remember where it's like they're chaining the uh, Titan. That's a pretty cool image. Who who is doing recall. this uh, attack? Like, are these horses on the right, or am I just imagining? Things? Yeah, it's pe 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 Pegasus, pe Pegasi, Pegas Pegasus. The the pegging gang. The pe Pegasus. Interesting. I did not expect you to prefer this to the Kronos boss fight because I didn't, personally, not, it's one on, of my whoa, favorite whoa, whoa, sections. Whoa, whoa. I d I'm not. I don't prefer this over Kronos. What I said was, this this can still happen. Would you rather have this than what we got with Kronos? Would I rather a Doom game inside of Pandora's Temple with God of War one enemies? Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Atreus visits so, this and starts er erroring <laughs> everything. Actually, I, I'm sure, not saying I prefer not? this over God of War 3 because God of War 3 okay. Kronos is so good. Like just the yeah. fact that you kill him. It's my favorite section in the game. It is very, very, very good. Even gameplay. Yeah, and, yeah. And I, I, I'm not as big of a shooter fan, so 
even though this is an extremely intriguing idea and the thought of having a modern God of War game in this universe is very intriguing, I would rather, yeah, I would, I'm, I'm glad they didn't go look, with this. Look, you just said time. you're not a shooter fan, but can you imagine it happening? Like, God of War Ragnarok Valhalla showed you what it would look like to visit the temple in 2024 yeah. graphics. See, like, yeah. when you slowly uh, push Helios in the cage. And mm -hmm. it, it looks like a third-person shooter, the new camera system. So wouldn't you like it if it happened? You go through yeah. trap, puzzle rooms, fighting enemies you know. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know why they would go in there because Pandora's box is not there, but you know, maybe gods hit something else. I don't know why why they would go in there. And then and then modern day Kratos pulls up because he's still alive. <laughs> that like, picture is still that picture still in my <laughs> in my brain, man. He just pulls up like <laughs> <laughs> Woman do you yeah, hear me? Is... Woman do you hear me? It is urgent! <laughs> The boy is falling ill. So yeah, man, that's the that's the sort of stuff Jaffe just threw in the game, just like randomly. Very yeah. interesting, right? Interesting. And again, like you said, sure, why not make it now? Yeah, sure. See? Yeah. We're make totally not starving game. for any remasters right now. <laughs> no, no, we're, no, no. We're no, cool. No. So yeah, this was really, really interesting. I haven't it, it feels like I haven't watched a single video out of these three. I don't know That's why, crazy. but I, I can't remember a single damn thing out of any of this. My brain mm -hmm. is too fried with pain plus and all that. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I'm but, glad I'm glad I could show it to you. You it's a reaction video from Zesty. For the first much. time ever. Interesting. Yeah. Really, really interesting. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for joining me and uh in case People don't know what are, what are you doing over at, at at your own channel. Please promote yourself. At the moment, no real big plans for my YouTube other than live streaming challenge runs and maybe making videos here and there. So yeah. all right, uh, thank you for watching and peace. Whatever you say at the end. It has been your Mr. Nine <laughs> Realms, Mr. Worldwide, Mr. Midgard Kron. Mid, 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 mid man. Mid peace. man Kron. Peace. Chronic. Chronic pain. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we're in.